Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at a valuation account and in this case it's a premium on bonds payable. So let's look at an example here. Say we issue a bond here for $100,000. That's the face value of the bond and it's to be paid in five years at maturity. So we issued it at $100,000 but with the prevailing interest rates for the period we actually received in cash, which is an asset, of $104,100. So we received a $4,100 premium on that bond payable that we issued at $100,000. So we've got assets here of $104,100 as cash on the asset side of the equation and then we're looking at $100,000 here as a liability. Well, we have to balance those out and we do that with this valuation account. It's a premium on bonds payable and the balancing entry would be $4,100. So once we add the $4,100 to $100,000 payable account, we have an equation at balance. Assets equal $104,000 and then adding these two together we get $104,000 on the liability side. But our goal here is to get this down on, as a liability at the maturity date of the bond down to $100,000. So we're doing it through this valuation account. Now I have to note this valuation account, it works similar to a contra account. The only difference is here our debits are the same. Debits and credits have the same meaning. Or a debit minus here is a debit minus up here in bonds payable and a credit plus on bonds payable here is also a credit plus on the premium on bonds payable. So what we have to do each period would be a semi-annual payment on this bond or interest payment on this bond. We also have to amortize this premium down or we have to make a charge on this premium such that at the end of the period we've used up all our premium here or the debit amount here of $4,100 would be the same as the credit amount here of $4,100. They zero out and then uh, we would no longer have this valuation or the valuation account becomes zero and our bonds payable would be $100,000. That's what we're looking for on our balance sheet at the majority date. So that's how we reduced the amount of cash received as a premium and how we uh, make the bond payable at maturity at 100000 by using this valuation account. Now just to go through here and look at our carrying values. Okay, at issue date we had this $4,100 premium and the bond carrying uh, payable amount here, the liability was $104,000. But now as the period, or as the time moves on, we keep making uh, our premium actually decreases. We reduce the premium each period. So at the end when the bond payable is due we got a premium here of zero amounts and then our bond payable net amounts are also reduced here. So the premium charge reduces this bond payable. So we start out with 104000 and then at the maturity in five years we're down to $100,000. So Okay, we, you can see here that this premium, how it works, it took the initial uh, cash amount, 104000 and we transformed our bonds payable into 100000 at the maturity date. So that's how the valuation accounts work. Similar to a contra account, only I have to point out that the debits and credits have the same uh, meaning. They either they decrease or increase the accounts. Now we have to account for this premium on bonds payable. Uh, we actually reduced our liability by uh, taking this $4,100 credit amount here and then amortizing it down until at maturity of the bond we had a minus 41 here in this premium account and then balanced here with the credit amount so we ended up with zero here but we need an associated credit entry for this debit that we made the bonds premium. And what we did here, uh, we would 
credit the interest expense account over on the income statement. So we credit it that by the amount of the bond premium that we amortized each period until we got down to $4,100 here. And that would be uh, reducing interest expense. So credit here actually reduces interest expense. Okay, and remember this interest expense uh, moves up is part of net income and it gets closed out to retained earnings on the balance sheet which is part of stockholders equity and a reduction in interest expense actually would increase or it has the effect of increasing retained earnings now just to overview what we've done here this interest the reduction in interest expense it 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 was included in part of this 4100 it was included in the premium here and since we only have to pay $100,000 at maturity we actually reduced our interest expense now just to overview again the premium or this valuation account here uh, takes and re brings our bond payable liability at maturity up to $100,000 and we did that by taking the premium here, amortizing it down, and charging it against interest expense by reducing the interest expense. And that brings our bonds payable face value at maturity to $100,000. So that's an overview of uh, how the valuation account works and how we can adjust one account by using a valuation account.